To modify or customize your templates in Tap Inspect, you want to go to the New Inspection screen and then at the bottom of the list tap on Add or Modify Template. Now these are all the templates that are available in your account. You can always, you can always add more if you like. Um, you can change the order that they're displayed or you can even um, move them to the trash. But right now let's edit the detailed home inspection and see what goes on in there. The uh, template options at the top of the section list gives you a lot of control over how the report is structured and displayed as the PDF. Um, you've got the template name, which you can change. That would be what is uh, listed in the new inspection screen. You can go into the condition rating options. Uh, you can change some of the appearance on the report title page. Um, and even the report summary options, you can change where it's located, if photos are included, that kind of stuff. And uh, even modify the report header and the report footer. When you go into a section, um, there's a little bit more that you can do. You've got your items listed here. And again, you can, you can hide them. Um, you can change the uh, order that they're displayed, all that kind of stuff and you can change the header that is displayed in the PDF below the section name. So this is the default text that would appear on the exterior of your report. Um, once you tap on an item, you can change more about it. The uh, options for this multiple choice item are listed on the right hand side here and you can go in and you can add more options if you want. We'll put metal clad because I kind of run into those quite a bit. Um, and you can also change the order that they're displayed, hide them just like you can or um, anywhere else. The uh, other thing that really comes in handy is the ability to duplicate or add more of an item. Um, bathrooms, a lot of people like to list every single bathroom and you can see here three of them are visible and um, you could hide one if you don't need it in the report or you just tap on the green plus to make them visible in um, a report or your template. So to duplicate one, let's say you've got two furnaces. Um, we would go ahead and select HVAC and then um, we want to add a section. And let's duplicate an existing section. And this is all of the sections that are available for us to choose from. And we'll say we want a new HVAC section. And then we'll hit Done. And it'll say, what's the name? We'll leave it HVAC2. We'll say Save. And now, when we go back down, we can see that we've got another HVAC section. Um, we can also, we don't want to hide it, but let's delete that second one. And we will get rid of it forever. And now it's gone. Um, you've got a lot of options that you can do, you, uh, a lot of flexibility um, to add items and your options and organize your template the way that you would like it to be.